USC beats up on Oregon 45 to 20 at the Coliseum with Bill Plaschke and Zach Helfand. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. Bill, it's been a long time coming. Two seasons since USC last beat Oregon, and we're used to seeing those feathers flying around. Those feathers were lying on the turf here at the Coliseum tonight. Oh, like the feather analogy yeah, right like away. like that. How long did it take you to think of that, Lindsay? Uh, I've thought of it right, right now. now. Okay, yeah. And this is really cool for USC. They won five in a row for only the second time since Pete Carroll. The last coach to lead them to five victories in a row, Ed Orgeron and Pete Carroll in 2008 before that. That's big. Five straight games of 500-plus yards total offense. Their defense was record-setting tonight. Uh, Ronald Jones Jr. Record, tied a record with four touchdowns. USC got their groove back. The Trojans have got their groove back. That's a text that was sent to me from a USC alumnus, long-suffering alumnus, sent me a text, said it all. They've got their groove back now. Going into Washington, we'll see. But tonight, it's clear in the Coliseum. It was a fun night, a big night, and again, USC, a dancing night for USC. Bill mentioned it, but Ronald Jones the second, four touchdowns, ties the USC school record for rushing touchdowns in a single game. Len Dale White in 2005, he was the last Trojan to do that. This offense is clicking. Zach, as much as the offense is going, so was the defense tonight. Yeah, well, first for, 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 for Rojo, uh, last game he got Reggie Bush. He, he had the most yards for USC rusher since Reggie Bush. Uh, this time he got Lendell White, so he's bringing it back to like two. Little thunder lightning yeah. all by himself. But the story today for me, because Oregon's defense, r rushing defense, not very good. No. The story for me is is USC's defense because Oregon's offense is still dangerous. They're, they're the best rushing attack in the entire conference. Mm -hmm. They held them to less than 100 yards rushing, held them to 288 yards total which is the first time Oregon hasn't surpassed 300 yards since 2009, which was Chip Kelly's first season. And Stevie Tuakolovatu's first, yes. first yes. season. The, it's Stevie T's first season. That was the first game yeah. of the Chip Kelly era, was right. the last time they didn't get 300 yards, and then tonight. So the defense, that was a pretty dominant performance for me. But I sense... I sense a lack of belief among my comrades here. Well, Bill, I sense I'm, a huge, Bill, I'm I hitting sense the, a lot of doubt Bill, I'm about hitting, Washington next week. I'm hitting the mute button on you, Bill. We yeah, need no. a mute button on this camera I for was. Bill sometimes. Right. What about Washington next week? Well, here's the thing. The Huskies at last check were not necessarily bidding up on California, who USC handled. So I'm kind of having doubts about whether or not Washington is really a college football playoff bound team like some think they are. But Bill, what I'm most curious about is how USC did not look past Oregon. This was easily a trap game. If they're looking ahead to redemption and wanting to prove this they're a great team. It was a trap game and it was the Ducks that ended up getting sucked up into that net hanging from the tree. It was the Ducks that got, that got, that got trapped. Do, ducks you don't like get that? sucked up into a yeah, net well, hanging I'm a tree. They get like hunted. I'm trying to use a trap metaphor. Also, I want to say, and I said this in my column for the LA Times, to all of you out there who have criticized me for pushing for Clay Hilton to be hired last year. In three weeks, you can start to thank me. In three weeks, if they keep playing with this kind of passion and balance, they beat Washington, they'll beat UCLA, and they'll beat Notre Dame, they'll head to a nice bowl game, maybe even the Pac-12 championship game if everything breaks right. You can, there thank, has to be me so, Bill, you can they, thank me then. Bill, they have to beat Washington or uh, you Utah and Colorado. You, 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 I didn't you, say they were going to, but they? Bill, also, they're not going to thank you. They're not going to thank Clay Hilton. They're going to thank Sam Darnold. That's the last one on that. You don't get to respond <laughs> to that. Bill, Bill forgot to mention that Sam Darnold could get an invite to New York for the Heisman. You're not going to get an invite he's to New York. And I'm also, you can thank the Pac-12 because the Pac-12 hasn't been as great as many anticipated, Bill. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is Clay Hilton has won five games in a row. He hasn't lost at the Coliseum this year. The fans are starting to come around to him, and they'll see. And everybody, again, is face it. We're all waiting for Seattle next week, which we'll all be in Seattle next week. Bill, it's your I'm hometown. So, are you going to be there? I'm so happy for you because you are finally right on something in your so own far. mind, so this far. Clay Helton <laughs> hire. All right, so the Trojans beat Oregon 45-20. to 20. What do you think about the Washington game? I think if, Washington hasn't really played anyone. They played no. Utah. That's it. USC is more battle-hardened than Washington right now. Washington, I don't think, is unbeatable. I think if this were on a neutral field or if it was at home, it would be a toss-up. Maybe at home USC has the advantage. It's a tough place to play. It's going to be a, it's kind of a night game at Washington. They're going to they're gonna be rowdy. I, I still think USC has got something to prove. I might have to go into the witness protection program when I land in Seattle because I'm going to pick SC for the upset. I thought it was interesting. I've never heard the phrase battle hardened. I've heard battle tested and battle tough. I like that. You mix in the words there. Battle hardened. It wasn't a duck metaphor or no, duck pun, but, you know, I do what I can. It was good.
So, yes, I think we're all in agreement. USC is going to win. How are you going to go home? Lindsay well, lives we're... in Seattle. That's where she's from. How are you going to do that? I just said I'm going to have to go on the witness protection program. And pretty soon we're all going to be dead ducks because they're changing the Coliseum over for the Rams game. Which we'll see it tomorrow at the Rams game. We'll all be here. In the meantime, the Trojans beat the Ducks 45-20. to 20. See you right back here tomorrow when the Rams play the Panthers with Zach and Bill. I'm Lindsay for the LA Times.